Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Una. I live in the mountains about 60 kilometers north of Madrid in Spain. And this is Granny's Garden. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright oh, You and I, we got it Crickets see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have Let's hold on tight In 2019, I started clearing out a very, very neglected garden There were briars Oh my gosh, the briars this whole area behind me, which is the future woodland Ouch. garden, was one big mass of briar. And I learned in 2019 that the most important tools in my whole tool shed were safety goggles and a very, very thick pair of gloves. Then there were the dead trees. We had to take out at least three trees and we're probably going to have to take out some more. This one was a Russian olive and counting the rings I can see it was about 20 years old when I cut it down. I can see it also that it had bumper years and then about five years before its death it seems to have run into some sort of problems. It wasn't growing at all. Over here behind me, an alder tree with dangerous limbs. And I was able to share that with you on a video. Now, unfortunately, many of the trees that I've inherited in this garden are on the last legs. The bark is peeling, they are riddled with holes. So there's no recovery at this stage. But instead of taking them down, because these trees are smaller, and they're not in danger of either falling down or a limb falling down on top of you, what we're going to be doing is repurposing them. Turning something old and ugly into something beautiful. I get this structure and I plant these magnificent, vigorous, climbing, rambling roses and I want especially the ones with the really long, quip-like, vigorous stems because then I can get them to grow up like a fountain and cascade down like water. How beautiful is that? And what happens to a shrub when it's been neglected? It grows long legs, which might be great on a model, but it's not great on shrubs. I hate leggy shrubs. It's a pet hate of mine. You'll soon find that out if you follow me. <laughs> In 2020, I decided to start a YouTube channel to try and document this journey of recovering a neglected garden. And also so you guys can come with me on the journey. I mean, you're not going to leave me all on my own, are you? 2020 was also the year I became a granny, hence the name of the channel. So no prizes for guessing how the channel name came about. Every week I get one step near and closer to what my vision of this garden is going to be. And I've discovered some amazing things along the way. Like this hidden patio. Can you believe that all of this patio was hidden under a lawn? What a discovery! And one of the great things about having a wonky garden is it makes great subject matters for how-to videos. So there's going to be lots of pruning going on, trees that need to be treated, plants that need to be treated, things that need to be fertilised and recovered. There's going to be lots of experiments going on. At the moment I have one uh, going on about what to plant in between the cracks in my pavement or my new hidden patio. I'm planting a new shrub border. I'm planting a new bulb border. I need to get automatic gates and a fence put in at the end of the garden. And once that's done, I need to create a woodland garden. I want to create around the side of the house a dry gravel garden. So lots of things going on and lots of projects there. But step by step, that's the journey. That's the beauty of us. So come join me every week so together we can whip this garden into shape. P.S. You can also join me because I'm a mad Irish lady with a lot of banter. Or I've got a fairy at the end of my garden. At least half that statement is true. I wonder which one it is. Ooh, well there's the fairy at the end of the garden. Yikes, does that mean I'm the mad Irish lady? See you next week. Can weather